my master in his time of need. You can still work for me if you don't like that. Yeah, but if I'm to provide the highest quality of tech support, I should and will remain on the premises. I trust your interview with the law-abiding ones went by without any undue stress? The agent closed the case. No doubt, Fair Samantha described the daring rescue of young Jake while you remained customarily silent? No. Diane wanted me to cooperate. So you actually conversed with the minions of law enforcement? There's no way to hide what happened. Those men took Jake hostage. I killed them trying to rescue Jake. Well, clearly the agent agreed that you and Fair Samantha joined forces to save an innocent child and therefore were acting in... Well, it's not exactly self -de... I shall research the... No, 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 stop. I don't want... I, I don't want you to research anything, okay? I need information on the Russians. Press Stunko need not battle the Slavic scoundrels on his own. Well, you know, since Mr. Sir now controls the firepower of the formidable Zakara clan, might it not be an opportune moment to rejoin forces with your former friend and reconcile? You, you want me to go to study for help? I, I'm sorry, I beg for enlightenment. Is this current impasse a result of personal animosity or mob politics? Okay, the first thing the study taught me was stay detached. Thinking with your emotions makes you stupid, and stupid gets you and everybody around you killed. See, the problem is, when Kate got shot, Sonny was so focused on revenge, he didn't even stop to consider the consequences. Mr. Sir, assumed that the Russian shell casing found at the scene of the crime was proof of Karpov's guilt. Okay, kill. that's maybe. Okay, but Sonny should have assessed how much money the Russians already put into Port Charles, and how hard they're going to strike back if Sonny takes out the man they put in charge, but he acted without thinking. So when retaliation came, it was aimed directly at Sonny's power base. Which now belongs to Stone Cold. Right. right. Now look, the Russians did exact opposite of Sonny. They were actually methodical. They focused on, on the person who would be Sonny's strongest ally, which was me. They burned my offices, they targeted my people, and they went after my family. Now, I don't, I don't think for a second that when Sonny pulled that trigger on Karpov, he knew Jake would be taken hostage, but he should have. Okay. I may ask, what are your current intentions vis-a-vis -vis Mr. Sir? I mean, Sonny knows that I'm distracted by the Russians. It'd be a good time for him to move in on my territory. Mr. Sir, is the cause of your current troubles with the Slavic scoundrels, it, it would be dishonorable, not to mention unfair, to take advantage of said troubles to further his own ends. Something else Sonny taught me. Take advantage of weakness when you get the chance. Do you believe Mr. Sir would do that to you? Ten months ago, I wouldn't have believed Sonny would have joined the Zakaris. But two months ago, Michael was in, in a coma. And that's, that's where this all started. I mean, Sonny has not been thinking clearly since. Do you think he's unhinged by grief? I, I think that Sonny started lying to himself. And I have no room to criticize because I did the exact same thing. I told Sonny, people who do what we do, they don't get to have a happy life. And I started planning a life with Elizabeth and Jake. I had to watch an explosion nearly kill my son for me to see the truth. Sonny is still lying, and I have no idea what I'm going to do if he makes a move against me. Mr. Morgan, I need a few minutes of your time. I'm in the middle of a meeting. Well, I could call you down for another interview, but that would be a waste of time. Finish up on that research. Thousand apologies, over the power government flunky. Do I need to call my attorney? No. Hear me out first. What I have to say could save your life. Okay, Anthony. This is the way it's gonna work. While Jace is distracted, I'm gonna move through his territory because I know all the peers and everything like that, how to offload shipments, where to, and the whole thing. Okay? You think he's not going to notice? Jason <laughs> doesn't want to have anything to do with me. So, hey, Jason doesn't have the resources to fight me and the Russians at the same time. We have extensive files on you, Mr. Morgan. Until the age of 20, you were Jason Morgan Quartermain, 
socially prominent, involved in your community, straight-A student, bound for med school, destined to become a pillar of your community. I don't need the FBI to tell me who I am. There was a car accident. You sustained brain damage. There's strong evidence to believe that you were mentally incompetent when you went to work for Michael Sonny Corinthus, Jr. That he led you into a life of organized crime when you were incapable of realizing what that really meant. Is that what you're doing? You're offering me the chance to plead mental incompetence? Since you've met Sonny, you've been arrested more than 30 times. You've been tried twice for murder. Now you're taking over the Corinthos organization. It's only a matter of time before you get caught or you get killed. So I don't know what you want. The FBI is prepared to offer you immunity from prosecution. Mm -hmm. In exchange for what? considers the Zakars a lesser part of, the, of the two evils, so he's going to leave us alone. By the time he figures out what, what's going on, a substantial part of his territory will be mine. <laughs> you mean ours? No, I mean not Jason's. <laughs> I'm sorry to disturb you, boss, but you have a call that can't wait. Did, can you, you excuse me? taking a call while I'm here. That's a nice touch. It putting me in my place. Why, man? Not at all. In fact, I'm impressed. Sonny knows all of Jason's blind spots. And aside from letting you stay in the room, he seems pretty sure about what he's doing. Not that I expect you to tell me what your real plan is, but it does seem to be working out rather nice for you so far. You have no idea. <laughs> You're in a unique position to provide the FBI with information. I wouldn't ask you to testify. That would be like signing your death warrant. We need information. Dates, descriptions of shipments, shipping routes. Anything that would lead us to the money trail. Give us the evidence we need to build a case against Sonny Corinthos and Anthony Zakara. Who says I have it? I've never dealt with Anthony Zakara. And you guys should know I barely speak to Sonny anymore. Anthony Zakara and Sonny Corinthos have criminal histories far worse than yours. We want them. If you give them to us, you get a blank slate. And should you choose to continue your current activities I'm not saying we'll look the other way but you will be very low on our list of priorities you made a bad choice a long time ago when you didn't know any better now's a chance to make a better choice after all what do you really owe Sonny Corinthos anyway so you're asking me to give up Sonny to save myself for Mr. Morgan. You won't have to testify. You won't be prosecuted. All we need is information. Feel free to discuss it with your lawyer. But the deal won't be on the table forever. I suggest you take it while you have the chance. Like you said, I need to talk to my attorney. Oh. Well, I'll take that as a no. For now. It'll take some time, but eventually you realize you'll have to cooperate. It's just a matter of finding the right leverage.